the biggest question of all. How will ThinkTech continue to serve the community over the long term? Chapter 4. New Transitions. Let's catch up. In mid-2023, we lost one of our studio engineers, so we then promoted Michael Pangolinen to be our full-time studio manager. He took over the engineering for all of the shows, and that worked out very well. With the assistance of Haley Ikeda, our scheduling manager, we improved our various publications, including our daily email advisories, and our host and weekly bulletins, and we added a variety of new features to our website. We also expanded the coverage of our hosts and guests in shows relating to national and global issues, including especially the troubles in Congress and the wars in Ukraine and Israel, and otherwise emanating from Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Latin America, Pakistan, Southeast Asia and the Philippines. Later in the year, we reorganized our production workflow by recording and editing our shows before streaming or uploading them to YouTube. This greatly improved the quality of those shows and made our productions much more professional. To do the finish editing, we engaged three outside editors, one in Indonesia, one in Emirates, and one locally in Honolulu, and we developed a new FileMaker program to assign and keep track of their editing. That has also worked out very well. This new system minimized the need for editing in the studio. Using these outside editors, we have been able to get the shows edited more quickly so we could upload and send them to the hosts usually within a day or two. But a nonprofit must be able to raise funds sufficient to pay the costs of production, including rent, staff, equipment, software, connectivity, and a myriad of administrative expenses. We have looked to our underwriters to bear the largest share of these costs, along with contributions from grants and small donors. Despite our fundraising efforts, for one reason or another these contributions have been steadily declining. That being the case, we have come to the conclusion that after nearly 25 years and the production of thousands of talk show videos, it is time for us to cut back on production and move to a new business plan and a new phase in our operation. In that phase, we will not be producing our regular talk shows after April 30, 2024, but will rather accept content and commentaries on an ad hoc basis. We will of course continue our website and YouTube channel as a showcase for our current and retrospective content. We will also develop a legacy archive program to provide continuing public access to our very considerable collection of videos for the community. This will include multiple search functions to allow viewers and users to locate, retrieve, examine and research the content in that collection. The portal for this program will be through our website, thinktechhawaii.com. Going forward, we will be creating this legacy program to make our archival content available to the community on a continuing basis. We have publicized these operational changes, along with our need for further funding, in the hopes that our followers will help us cover the costs of the transition and the development of the new legacy program. Although we regret the need to have to cut back on what we have learned best, we have also found that we are in an excellent position to maintain the content we have created over the years, and thus to continue in our efforts to raise public awareness, pursuant to our original mission. Needless to say, we are proud to be able to provide this legacy to the community and to those who have supported us over the years, and to whom we are deeply grateful. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video history of ThinkTech Hawaii. This video history is dedicated to all the hosts, guests, staff, followers and friends who have supported and encouraged us through the years, and especially our Vice President Carol Mon Lee. Mahalo and may kay aloha.